I would like everyone to please close your eyes for a moment. And I want you to think back to a time, any time, where you felt connected to a stuffed animal, a stuffed toy, or even a blanket. Now, I want you to think a little bit more about it. Think about its name and what it was wearing, if it was wearing anything. And now, open your eyes. Hello, my name is Alicia Ma, and today I'll be talking to you about the science of stuffies. And later on, you'll even get to meet my childhood stuffed animal, Orca, which I've had since I was four years old. Stuffed animals, or stuffies, have played a pretty significant role in many of our childhoods. From the Cabbage Patch Kids during my parents' childhood, to the Beanie Babies in the 90s, and now to the recent craze for the new Squishmallows, we can see that stuffies have definitely evolved over time, but one thing is certain. They will not be going away anytime soon. And while it's a well-known fact that kids are a huge fan of stuffies, in 2017, 40% of American adults said that they still slept with a stuffed animal. So I've asked myself, why do children, and surprisingly adults as well, love stuffies so much? Well, the answer actually lies in science. A combination of adorable appealing design styles, pastel colors, and fluffy textures has evolved to capture the hearts and minds of millions. The plush industry has tapped into this code of cuteness, and now global manufacturers are cashing in on this multi-billion dollar industry. There is an old saying that we eat with our eyes, and design manufacturers know that visual appearances impact our experiences. The soft and fluffy textures of stuffies play an essential part in their code of cuteness, but their facial designs and um, facial features and designs also play a big role in their popularity. But what does all of this mean? Well, Conrad Lorenz, a European Nobel Prize winning ethologist, which is someone who studies animal behavior, discovered that humans actually associate cuteness with features that are often found in infants, youth, and even baby animals. Just think of your reaction when you see an adorable puppy or kitten. You probably just want to pet it. And this reaction of affection, or feeling a need to sometimes protect something you find precious, is actually connected to an evolutionary instinct originally meant to make sure that mothers or parents felt a loving need to protect and care for their young. But now, stuffed animal manufacturers have taken advantage of this and used it to ensure that stuffies capture both our attention and affection. And over time, as more research has been done on the visual appeals of stuffies, we have actually seen a shift towards shorter faces, smaller snouts, um, larger eyes and foreheads. And a perfect example of this is in the evolutionary design of one of the world's most recognizable animals, Mickey Mouse. Over time, you can see that uh, Mickey's snout size significantly decreased, but its foreheads and eyes increased in size. And another trend we have seen recently is having simplistic design styles and shapes, which can be seen in the popular Squishmallows as well as the Mickey plush on the right. But while the cuteness of Sophie's certainly piques our interest, it's not the only thing that makes us love stuffed animals so much. In fact, another reason why we love stuffies so much is because they provide us with a sense of comfort and security. And to some people, especially children, stuffies are like an emotional support animal. You can talk to them, you can cry to them, and you can tell them all your secrets. And the best part is that the secret will always be safe with them. As a matter of fact, when I was a kid, 
I had this stuffed animal orca that I would bring with me everywhere I went, and we were practically inseparable. Well, one of these places I used to bring it to was daycare, and there was this one day where I forgot to bring my stuffed animal orca to daycare. Well, when I realized this, I would not stop crying until they had to call my parents, and my poor parents had to drive all the way back just to bring me my stuffed animal orca. Now, not only is this an embarrassing story, but it also shows how kids become so personally attached to these stuffies because they become reliant on the sense of comfort and security that the stuffies provide. And oftentimes, these personal attachments or connections to the stuffies are so strong that they last into adulthood. And as a result, many adults actually end up keeping their childhood stuffed animals. In 2017, 56% of American adults that said that they had kept a childhood stuffed animal. So I'm sure many of you in the audience are part of this 56%. But I'm actually not that surprised by these statistics because it shows that once again, stuffies provide people with a sense of comfort and security. And obviously enough comfort that 40% of adults would still sleep with a stuffed animal at night. So, Therefore, we can see that from being an emotional rock that we can rely on to just being plain cute and cuddly, there is actually quite a complex and scientific explanation behind the love for these simple, innocent plushies. Designed based on this code of cuteness to instantly attract our attention, Ultimately, it is their ability to provide us with a sense of comfort and security that makes us love them so much. Nowadays, we are often quick to judge others for having stuffed animals, especially if they're older or considered grown up, but who can help it? After all, our love for stuffies is simply science. Thank you for listening to my TED Talk.